You need to know where Sword is. Oh, welcome I, back I to On the have, Branch. I at least have a lamp. And Meredith decided to just keep running, so I'm not uh, just couch cash. Okay. Meredith kept running. I can't even hear. Let me just loudly drink out of my water bottle here. Let's get this into the mic as loud as possible. No, please. Thanks, John. That, that the the really... gamers have to know that I was thirsty and that I, I, I quenched my thirst. They were... they. They could have gotten worried about me. But, but we don't have Brondo. Did John. you want the did you want the neighbors to be worried about me? Did I say neighbors? Yes, the gamers. The neighbors. <laughs> the neighbors. And there's six daughters. And and two cats that run around outside eating bugs. <laughs> have you actually ever seen them eat a bug? Nope. Oh, okay. So try to eat bugs. They're not very good hunters, they're just persistent. I mean and they complain about this is one complaint I, 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 about the I can't run. imagine anybody actually eating anything one, that's alive. One on the first episode of the series, we started talking about how we got the front and the back of the house all clean up, and all of the fall leaves are finally gone, and our house looks pretty. And if if I have time, I'll take a picture so everyone can see our. Oh wait, no, nope, nope, never Scratch mind. That. Yeah, yeah, don't follow this flag, Ameris. We don't want people knowing what the front of our house looks like because then it is very quick to find us on Google. Um. Yeah, street address and stalkers, and the style of house you can figure out are exactly where exactly where we live pretty easily. We don't need that. Yeah, as much uh, as we want to be famous and make the money. Yeah. Oh yeah. If nobody crazy ever came, like I would tell people our home address, but we have to worry about crazy people eventually. So no, unfortunately, you no, have to be vetted you. to know who we are in IRL. But Just, please send us shit and watch our videos. Yeah. Can people send us shit? I mean, I, I guess they right could now. contact us and just ask us how to, right? Like, and I'll be like, when, uh, I, when I, oh yeah, yeah, going back. So I want to donate to the Mystic Crystal. One of the things I don't want to happen is a repeat of what happened with Leonard French, because long, long time viewers of this channel. Well, I mean, it's it's in the archives. We we yeah. did a whole series with Le or a short. I think we did seven or fourteen episodes with seven episodes because we never finished the game. Yeah, we did seven episodes of Shant one of the Shantae games with Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney at law, Esquire, and however many things I can add to his name. And I like I, like his car broke down. This is right when he was starting to go professional, just his own on on YouTube and Twitch. And he posts a video like, uh, my shitty ass Nissan Rogue because it's a shitty Nissan broke in a way that costs several thousand dollars. And I'm like, you know what? It's Christmas. I have money for some reason. I'm going to shoot him a thousand bucks. And I shot him a thousand bucks. And he was like, okay, what can I do for you? Normally for 500 bucks, you like that sponsors a video. And I said, come on to our channel. And that's not the part that I don't want to repeat of. The part I don't want to repeat of is like giving a bunch of money to one of my heroes and then seeing them not it's it's not a don't meet your heroes thing but it's a uh, over time just following his content or that it's like oh this guy and i have like really severe political differences that actually makes him kind of hard for me to watch you know yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and he's not super conservative. He's it's just not like terrible. Like I would call him Centrist. I, he is the true centrist. He's not a fake centrist like a lot of Democrats. You know, it's also and, like, hey, yeah, being centrist isn't bad. Yeah, he is not actually a centrist, but I'm like, it seems like he wants the great robbery to continue because he's for Citizens United. Like, he's a supporter of this Citizens United ruling. So that makes you, one, that's going to shift you to the right in most people's estimations. What, no what is what. the Citizens United again? Uh, Citizens United and Buckley v, v, Buckley v. Vallejo was the Supreme Court ruling money is speech. That was back in the 80s. Oh, okay. And then Citizens United was, and you can't limit it in in uh, campaigns, political campaigns. So basically those were the two rulings that together made bribery legal in the United States and ended democracy in our country. Uh, democracy really ended in the United States about 40 years ago. This is well documented in studies. When you look at what the American people want in polls and you look at what they get, there is literally no correlation between those things. Meaning we don't live in a democracy. Uh, not even a representative democracy. It's, it's well, well, not we, even a republic. We live in an oligarchy. I was gonna say, was it autocracy or oligarchy? Uh, I, I mean, I describe it as neo feudalism. You know, like like 
We got rid of that pesky thing where you have to swear fealty to a lord. Now you get to pick your lord, and sometimes your lord has a thousand people because they're all shareholders of the corporation you work for. But the Probably society, we, the society we actually live in today in the United States is actually very similarly structured to a feudal system, and that's why that's why I like to refer to our current uh, way of life as as neo feudalism. Makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so so good old Frenchie, my my buddy Lenny, uh, just a little on the conservative side for me, and it's like really frustrating because I can't talk to him. I don't have a pipeline to him, and the, and that's what I'm like. Oh, I I you I want influence. Pull left. I want you to be corrupted for me. Why aren't you listening to me when I tell you things? When I send you a message on Discord, why is it you ignore my message? But the people who still give you five hundred dollars every couple months, huh, you seem to listen to all the rest. And I get it. You've got time for the people that pay. I paid you once. I gave you a lump. You don't actually owe me anything. I gave it out of the goodness of my heart. The only reason I attached on the branch to it was because I already had that thing, right? Just yeah. like with the Mystic Crystal. When we want to give NSP money, I want to give NSP money anyway. But if I if, you can get if I can get it. a second thing, like when we donate to GDQ, it's as on the branch. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Where, where's yeah? I don't. I did. I guess that's not gonna happen because because the NSP never talks. It. Yeah, give her a kiss. Okay. NSP, eat that burrito. Go, go. I want the burrito. Fine. I want people to know what the burrito I was talking about six episodes ago was. Go. Five burrito. episodes ago. There you go. You ate the burrito. Um. So yeah, I'm not saying don't meet your heroes. I'm saying after you, you meet your heroes, they might Just not stop. <laughs> they might not care about you. Yeah, meet them once, and uh, try not to get too emotionally invested. Because he's allowed to disagree with me politically, you know. Like right, I, John the Branch gave you a thousand bucks does not mean you now have to have John the Branch's political views. Especially because most of his political views, I, I think, are reasonable, other than democracy and the great oh the great robbery is what I refer to as you know that that famous graph of productivity in the united states you know gdp versus what workers get paid and how the what workers get paid has actually gone down a little bit in the last mm. 40 years because and the, it's, it's how productive the american workers are has doubled in the last 40 years meaning we're working it's not just we're working twice as hard right technology has improved and yeah yeah and, and humans are getting better at this I mean, I would but, still say that we're working twice as hard because you have to learn different skills. And well, yeah, but but technology is also part of what makes us more productive. I don't think we're working twice as hard. We're probably working half again as hard as the same people 40 years ago in the same jobs. Mm. And what we do is higher skill, absolutely. Like, low-skill work basically doesn't exist. I would even call... Uh, what's the lowest-skill thing I think I've ever Cashier. done? Cashier. Uh, cashier. Okay, cashier. I would say is a low, as an as unskilled work. Uh, I shelved books was my first ever paid job besides working on the ranch. I would call that unskilled. What I did on the ranch though, growing up, was definitely semi-skilled. Unless you're just clearing ditches, but if you're repairing fences, even that is semi-skilled. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a lot of unskilled work left in our economy, and I don't believe that you should pay people less. Just because, and again, the guy I ran into at work the other day was doing, Where oh, another that? unskilled job, but he was probably making $20 an hour. And at work with me, he does make $25 or $28 an hour, plus a few dollars in his pension. You know, he actually gets compensated like one should, but that's because he's union. Yeah. Be union, people. You get paid better. And In he, general, and he, yeah. Every person I've ever met that is anti-union always makes like two-thirds of what they should make and then when i point that out they say nah union people don't make more money than me They're like yeah i kind of do yeah uh like it'll be someone that works in my same field it'll be someone that oh nice <laughs> if we can only get a sword we've gotten two arrows or two bows yeah yeah i could be yeah i i just i understand that some unions have awful leadership my union used to have awful leadership. But even a union with awful leadership is better than no union. Oh, are we not taking the chest? No, I'm going to dip in Thieves Town first. Okay. Let's let's go in there and because see if, if Lion's hiding that first sword. Like, fuck. Where the hell is the sword? <laughs> I need, like, 
or flippers are like just yeah six episodes in some of them even uh i'm, I'm 15 minuters i'm running out of locations this is that's supposed the to be a 10 minutes per episode series and we just keep getting carried away so let's not do that next time on the branch oh god we're gonna go one more i swear by the beak upon my face i will stand and fight for the maverick cause but tonight we wait for the hologram of Santa Claus.